headlines around the world. Because when would we ever see Barnet getting all the headlines they're getting because of Edgar Davids going there? And well, is it a joint head coach with Mark Robson? Yeah. So do you see this as a marriage made in heaven? No. Or you don't see any longevity? Well, the only time I saw Barnet get, any Barnet get the headlines was when Michael Jackson blew his, get set fire to his ear. That was the only time Barnet got the headlines. But I mean, I, I, I think that, um, my point of view, I mean, it's very interesting to hear what some Barnet fans would have to say, but from outside looking in, they've gone down this road before. They've brought in the impact guy. They've got it. They've got the results. And I just think to myself, oh, it's great for the club to go and see a legend and a football legend is Edward Davids, but his CV of wherever he's gone, it's been disastrous. I mean, he, he was he was single-handedly brought down the whole of the unity in the Dutch football club. There's one of the stories that come out. He's not an influence. I mean, he's swagging around the pitch with all his designer gear and his glasses. Well, he's not and all that. playing either. He's pulling up. Yeah, he's, not, he's pulling up in his motor and all that kind of stuff. It's good for young players to see that and aspire to want to be that. Great, but poor. Oh, as far as I'm concerned, if you're a manager there and, 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 and there's only one man they want to speak to, the only one, if you're a manager, you're going to, the kid's going to come up to you and, Edgar, what do you think rather than a manager? Yeah. I can't see how it can work. I think it's gone down that road before, but on this occasion, I think it could be too big enough. I'm, I'm, I'm interrupting you. I've got a Barnet fan on oh, the phone. Lovely. Richard, Barnet fan, at the game today. Talk to me Hello. about Edgar Davids. Hello, can you hear me? Oh, we, we can, can hear you Richard. great. Yeah, um... Uh, I, I, th I think the first point to say is to just talk, talk about the body performance, and obviously it was incredibly disappointing. Um, I, th I, th I think um, there was a, the, 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 the build-up, the anticipation about um, um, Davids coming into the team. That, that that's fantastic. We welcome that, but we were poor today. It was it, we, it was a very very poor body performance. Um, I, I, I think the fans at the moment are going this 12 games without a win. We are bottom of the table. Um, I think, ironically, the last few games, a lot of fans have seen uh, an improving performance. Um, and it's this kind of very strange one. If someone says, um, uh, David is coming in to join by the football club, you're incredibly excited. Uh, we welcome that. But it's actually about the, uh, the performance and where we go from here. What was your reaction when you heard the news of David? Did you think it was a, he was coming in genuinely to do well? Did you think it was a publicity stunt? Was, you know, as a fan, did you think oh, that's fantastic? Did you think, oh, you know what, the man with the worst CV in, in disruptions in the dressing room in the in the world has come? Did you fear for your beloved Barnet? <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I, I mean, I think there's always a Barnet Football Club. Whether we go back to Stan Flashman and Barry Fry, we've never been a club that have shied away from some headlines and. Um, I think, as you say, as a genuine body fan for many, many years, you do start thinking, hey, well, what is this about? What's the motivation? And I think some of the conversations around the ground today are still around that. Where does Edgar Davids fit into this? What is, you know, why has the chairman brought him in? Mark Robson, as a coach, has come in here. I think, um, I, think I, I still think there's a, there's a swathe of fans that will stick with Robson. Um, ironically, you know, was, you know, we've lost 4-1 at home today and it was a poor performance. But um, whatever happens over the next week, 24 hours, 48 hours at this football club, if we sack Mark Robson, where does Edgar Davids fit in? Is he going to be the manager? We don't know. As you say, what's the motivation behind it? All sorts of rumours. Um, we, we, we don't know. I, I, I just think that uh, we still believe that this current group of players are underperforming, um, and, and, and we still believe we can get out of this. But uh, I, I can only reiterate that I was very, very disappointed. Just Richard, just Richard, oh, you, you, you said there's all sorts of rumours circulating. What, what, are, what are those rumours that you're hearing from the fans? The rumours that are circulating, and, and, and I, I, I can only say this from a very uh, and a, a responsible Barnett sort of supporter's position, is that David's um, he, he, he has got a wider interest um, i.e. some sort of stake in the club, the purchasing of the club. I believe some of these uh, rumours have, have gone wide in the body of football club that Edgar David has voiced an interest in, 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 in having some sort of holding interest in the football club. Now, um, we don't know where we stand about it, and I, I think it, it's a very difficult one to deal with because I, I, I would be lying to you if I didn't say yesterday as a Barnet football fan, fantastic, Edgar Ed, Ed Davis is coming down to Barnet and uh, wants to be part of, uh, of, of, of our future. But I think um, tonight there's a lot of uncertainty about his role. And, um, 
I I hope that's clarified. I think if I'd been speaking to you today, if we'd beaten Plymouth, um, it would have been a lot easier. Um, There's a huge amount of uncertainty. Richard, just uh, quickly, is there any chance that Edgar Davies can get his boots on? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I certainly think after that performance, um, that, that's, that's certainly um, a, a, a real opportunity for him. Um, I, I, I will just say, and I need to turn optimist, I still think this current crop of Barnet players, and Edgar Davies did go down to the high, down to our training ground, look at our current group of players, said there's some talent there. Well, I still believe that. And if, if Edgar Davies can actually instill some of that positivity into this group of players, I think he, he's got a key role to play. I think mean, the whole issue is whether Mark Robson's going to be our coach tomorrow, next week. Um, today's performance wasn't good enough. Um, I, 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 I would be proud to see him with a Barney shirt on. OK, well, I dare say you'll be able to get the Edgar David dreads and glasses <laughs> in the club shop, so that should raise a few <laughs> quid, eh, Rich? <laughs> Uh, just, there, mate. Uh, exactly. Send us a picture into Sports Tonight Live, will you? It's a, it's a deal. I'll definitely <laughs> do it. Top man and Cheers, good mate. luck. I think you're going to need it. Thank you, guys. Cheers, Take mate. care. That's Richard, our Barnet fan.